Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. If this is your first time seeing my face, hey, my name is Cindy Valentina. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. All you gotta do is click that red subscribe button. This video is gonna be my little tack haul. If you guys watched my yard sale tack video, I forgot what I named it, but I'll leave a little pop-up right here of the video, and I'll leave a link down below if you guys wanna watch it. I actually brought you guys with me to an equestrian yard sale. The tack store was having a sale, and people were selling some of their used tack outside, but I got there late. It was just this whole thing. So if you guys want to watch that video, I'll leave a link down below. I asked you guys in that video if you wanted to see the stuff that I got that day, and most of you said yes. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. It's not a lot, but I figured I love watching haul videos. I love watching what people buy. So even though it's tiny, I hope you guys enjoy. Before we get started, I would really appreciate if you guys gave this video a thumbs up. It would help other people find this video if they're looking for hauls, you know? Okay, so here I have my bag. The first thing is just some vet wrap. Everyone needs vet wrap. We gotta stock up on these because you never know when horses are gonna get hurt and horses get hurt all the time. So yeah, I got some vet wrap. This is from the brand Flex Wrap. Is that the brand? Coflex. It's from the brand Coflex and it's this cool mustard yellow color that I've been obsessed with lately. So yeah, we got some of this. Oh, we got another one too. We got a red one. I think they're different. I feel like that one has more. This one's a little bit thinner, but yeah, some more vet wrap. This one's just red. Next up, I got something kind of interesting. I've never seen these before. This is the Equiping Safe Safety release. It's reusable. It says the ultimate safety release. That's all it says. I thought it would give me more info. Okay, it says they are reliable and safe, saving gear from breaking and preventing injuries to horses' necks. This is one of those breakaway rings that you hang on your trailer or your cross ties or anything like that just for emergencies. If you have a horse that likes to set back a lot, Crystal used to do it a lot. Thankfully, she hasn't done it in a long time, but still. We actually bought two to put in our horse trailer. They have a bunch of different colors, and I'm excited to try this out. I've never tried this before and a lot of people like to use hay twine, baling twine, because that just breaks easier in case of an emergency, which is a good idea too. But I thought these were interesting and they were on sale and we had a gift card. So I'm like, you know what? Let's grab some of these. So yeah, we're going to put these inside the horse trailer. If we like them, maybe I'll move them from the horse trailer and put them somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know exactly how this goes yet. Am I supposed to like pull this out? That's cool. It looks like a Christmas tree actually. You slip it in here and then you slide this little plastic piece on top to prevent it from coming off. And I think you can put it on the levels like if you need it looser or something I don't know I have to read the instructions but this is really cool next up I got this bar of soap I've never seen shampoo in a bar for horses this is the SOA plus itch be gone soap for itching and rubbing associated with skin challenges immediate skin care and it's all natural it says associated with hot spots sweet itch skin sores eczema psoriasis ringworm mange tick flea mite and bug bites I actually got this with brandy in mind during the summer she gets a lot of skin issues and she's always scratching her chest. I think I've showed it in a couple videos. She gets like some scabbing and stuff like that. So hopefully this helps out with that. I've never used it before. It says rinse the area with water, wash and apply on skin as a lather and leave on for one to five minutes then rinse. For extreme skin challenges it says apply as a heavy lather and leave on for one to 14 hours then rinse. Can be left on overnight. Safe to use on sensitive skin. Wow this actually sounds amazing. Hopefully this works for her. I'm excited to try it out. But during the winter time and the fall her skin is pretty good. This just happens in the summer when they sweat a lot and there's mosquitoes and flies everywhere so I'm gonna hold on to this until it happens again and I'll let you guys know how it works next up we got this which a lot of you guys recommended when I talked about her skin issues which we've used before for rain rot and stuff and it works amazing this is the Telesis Equiderma skin lotion for horses for skin conditions associated with rain rot ringworm scratches sweet itch cannon bone scurf Equiderma should be used from the onset of a skin problem gently remove any loose scabs if present allow horse to dry completely and apply Equiderma liberally to affected area every other day. Yeah, this is something we've used for rain rot and it seemed to work really well for us. So again, we just stocked up on this since it was on sale and we had a gift card. So yeah, we got this. Next up, I got some fly spray. This is the Piranha Zero Bite Natural Insect Repellent. It kills and repels. I actually bought the spray bottle and I still have it. So we decided to get the jug to refill our spray bottles. I actually really like this fly spray. It seems to work really well. And the spray bottle, I love the way it sprays. I know that's kind of weird, but the way it sprays, it's like wide and even. I don't know. How to, you guys know what I mean. Am I a weirdo? I feel like it just sprays nicely. Like I don't have to spray a million times. It dispenses enough with each spray. You know what I mean? And it goes wide. It's hard to explain, but I got some of this. It's kind of weird. We still have bugs flying around even though it's January. I mean, I guess it's expected. We live in Florida. It's good to have fly spray year round. Next up, I got this halter, which you guys saw in my Christmas video. If you watched it, if you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link down below for you guys. A lot of you guys always ask me if I prefer 
prefer to use rope halters or standard halters like these. I honestly don't have a preference. Either one is fine. We have both. But the ones that we have that are this style are faded and old. You know when you leave them in the sun too long, they kind of crisp and they fade. So I got this one. This has some padding right here on the pole, on the sides, and on the nose band. And it's actually a breakaway halter. And what that means, it's just that it has this leather piece that in case of an emergency, if they decide to pull back or if anything happens, the halter will just break, which is really good for horses who like to step back and stuff like that. I really like this color. This is what I look for in a halter, you guys. I'm gonna share with you the details that I enjoy in a halter. <laughs> so when I look at halters like these, what I look for is, first of all, a clip. As you can see, this one clips on. I don't like halters that you have to unbuckle, slide on, and then buckle again. So whenever I buy a halter like this, I always look for the ones that clip. So all you gotta do when you want to put this on a horse is just unclip it, slide it over their head, and then clip it again. So that's the first thing I look for. Like, that's my number one. Like, I won't buy a halter if it doesn't have this. Then I look for an adjustable nose band because I like to use the same halter on all of the horses. I don't like having things that just fit one horse. Like, if I can find something that I can adjust to fit whichever horse, I prefer to get that. So yeah, so this has two ways of adjusting. Again, here on the pole, you can make it tighter or looser and on the nose band. But when they have the option to adjust, it's a plus. And this one is really nice because it has some padding, which is also a plus. But yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys if you were wondering what I look for in a halter. That's it. I love the color. It's worked perfectly. I've used it on Brandy and Crystal and it fits so nice, again, because I can adjust it. I like the way it falls. The fabric is not too thick that it's just stiff and stuff. It's like just right. I'm a weirdo. I know. <laughs> but I just, I don't know. I like the way it falls. Like it's not too thick and heavy. It's just right. I don't know. I like this halter, so I got it. And the last thing I got is just another sweat scraper. This is a must to have around. This is our second one and I want to keep one in the trailer and one here at the barn. So I decided to get this lime green one. It's so bright. I know. I actually prefer these kinds. Well, actually, I don't know. I used to think that I preferred these instead of the ones with the handle and it looks like a little... Do you guys know what I'm talking about? How do I explain that? And it looks like a little rainbow. It's a U. Why did I say rainbow? It's a U. You know what I mean? I used to think I preferred these more than those, but now I don't know. I like them both the same, I think, because the other ones are pretty cool too. But yeah, I don't know. I just got a sweat scraper, okay? <laughs> Alright, you guys, that is it. That is all for my haul. I didn't get to buy any of the used things that people were selling outside in tents because, again, I got there late on the last day and it was raining, so everyone was picking up. So I didn't get a chance to buy anything from outside. So, again, most of this stuff is from inside the tax store, but they had a big sale going on, so it was worth it. There's another yard sale coming up soon, and this time I'm gonna write it in my calendar, I'm gonna set my alarm, and I'm gonna be there the first day, the moment it opens, because every single year, not every year, I think they have it like three times a year or four times a year, every time I forget that it's happening, or I wake up late, or something happens, and by the time I go, it's over, or there's nothing left, so next time, I'm gonna be prepared for you guys, I promise, and I'm gonna vlog it, don't worry. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed watching, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please, 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 please subscribe if you haven't already. And leave me a comment down below letting me know what was your favorite thing out of everything I showed you guys. I feel like my favorite thing was definitely the halter. Yeah, the halter. Everything else I haven't used yet, so this, this might not even count, but so far I'm loving my halter. But yeah, that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!